guys, it's oh, Kayla behind the camera, and there's Janessa, and there's my little doggy Lulu. Say hi, Lulu. Yeah. <laughs> okay, sorry I didn't make a back to school haul video because I already had to put on my give all my school supplies to the school. So yeah, and also it would have taken a really long time. <clears throat> so today we're going to be making a video on how to do a Lulu massage. And we have our special guest, Lulu. Yay! Everybody loves Lulu. Okay, Janessa will be our model here giving Lulu the massage. First, you unwrap your Lulu. You can see as the fresh fur is not smooth, but a bit rough. You fold in the sides of the blanket, which you have just unwrapped. Okay. You lift your Lulu, move her to the center. Or dog. Not Lulu, but Doug. You straighten out the blanket completely. We've made a row of, a row of squishies there, so she can't really escape. So. Are we doing a back or are we doing a belly massage? Well, we're going to start off with the back massage, and then after she turns over, as we're doing the back massage, we'll do a belly massage. So turn your Lulu, or dog, towards yourself. so that The, the head towards you. Yeah. And then, and straighten out the fur in the direction that it naturally goes in. Or if you want for Lulu, she got long fur, so I just like to part it, and then down here, just leave it down. So this and is you kind of want to go into the massage as the shape of they're in. So right here, you put your hands right here, and just do that like that. You're not hurting her at all. You're just touching the fur on all sides, on the back, like this motion right here. And as you're petting the Lulu, she will start to lay down and then roll over so that you can massage her belly side. You still want a belly massage today? There I didn't force her. Okay. Yeah, she just kind of fell down her side. Open her up. You just gotta massage the side of your Lulu until she she rolls over fully. Sometimes I would like to massage the head. Mainly you'll just do the back. Or belly. So Miss Lulu, how has your life been with the Duong family? We very much open, like it. Open up already. They're very nice to me, except the father. He always yells at me. She won't open up. Here, I'm gonna move her. We're not, I'm not hurting her. Yeah, we're, we're, not, hurting. we're not hurting her. No dogs were hurt in the making of this video. We're holding her gently. She just doesn't like being carried. Not much. At all. Okay, come on. Pump it up. We have a back facing us now. And then oh, you just okay. simply roll your Lulu over. Okay, now she's off the blanket. She's not to be on it. You can put that on later as a dress or a robe. And then so, you massage wait, her like so. Like this way now. Censor this. Censor. Censor. <laughs> <laughs> she got fur to censor it. So what you do is you go like that. Over here to the butt and then, down, and then you can massage. You just repeat this pattern, and then you can even do this right here. You can even do a little shoulder and face massage, and you can just do the chest like this just up or down. And then, so you basically you're guiding around the arms right here and the armpits. Okay, now Kayla will show us what she would like to do. As Janessa will now hold it. Hello, everybody. No, no, no. <laughs> if you want, you can do the head, back, whatever you want. Okay. Okay, bye, Lulu. <laughs> no, no, no. My As gosh. the Lulu makes her escape. Okay. Bring along her she, cape. Kayla will show us how you do the cape. So you get your Lulu to stand in somewhere. I'm not forcing her to stand here. We're just, I'm not showing your head yet. It's Wait, just there. so that she won't run out as we're putting the cape on, as that will be much of a struggle. So you get your cape, fold it in any way that you like. A good enough size for whatever your dog is. Normally I like to fold it like this. And then I'll just drape it over her back, over her tummy, and avoiding her arms and legs. Yeah, so then she can walk freely. <laughs> or you can do the diamond shape formation. So you just simply drop it on and tuck it in however you want to. Let it flow. Pet your Lulu because she's being a very good girl today. Open the door. 
Wait, there's another formation to do that too. That's pretty, I right bet. Okay, Here, hold this. Now, Janessa is going to do the diamond formation. So you basically take this, and you have a diamond. So you do it this way, though, like that. So this is where the head is. So, what? We're just going to simply carry our Lulu back over. Seriously? I didn't do nothing to you yet. That's what it is. So, there's two ways you could do this. If it's a smaller blanket, then you can just leave it in a diamond formation. But If it's a bigger like ours. Yeah, you can fold it in a little, like that. I thought that it's a bit of a rectangle, but not really. So it's more like a diamond. You can put actual things in. Do like that. And, and then, then you drape it on your graceful little Lulu. And then she can walk her way out. As your princess walks out. Look at that. Let's Isn't follow that our beautiful, beautiful little princess. It's not that beautiful. And that takes these on. Well, sometimes it might fall off. Since Lulu has much fur to have, um, it stays on easily. Janessa is now going to follow her. Let's go, Lulu. Lulu. Go follow Janessa. Good girl. As you can see, the back is the longest. Good for dog. Great for dogs that have tails. And then the sides are nice and short for easy walkage. And if you want, you can actually cut out a hole for the tail, and then it actually might stay in um, either way. Yeah, you could actually go and make a full out, complete outfit if you would like to. If you make an outfit, though, I prefer the ones where you can just attach it at the neck. Yeah. And then there's nothing to put in the arms because then when they walk, it's hard for them to walk. Okay, let's go. Our Lulu is having a great little seat. As you can see, the blanket flows easily behind her back. The tuck skiing one makes it easier for it to stay on. Ooh, look at that thickness. Thickness. See, it's a diamond formation. As we can look at the sides. It's great for long dogs and short dogs alike. And for big dogs, you can just make it nice and draped. And it looks like they're so comfy, too. Just look at how comfy that is. See, she's even laying down now. I'm going to do it to myself, too. Dogs and humans alike will uh, love it. As she walks around, she looks extremely graceful. Like so and she sits down anywhere. Grandma has and it stays on. Why does grandma have the best fur? Because she's grandma. I know, but like, you don't see it, but it's so soft. Not now, I'm going to sleep. Hashtag not monster. Okay, well. Okay, it's also so soft. Well, that's it for this video. I hope you guys liked it. See you guys next time. Peace.